Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing an art show as I do art shows every Tuesday. Um, so the art show I'm going to be doing is making some posters. I was going to do a different art show um, tonight but I didn't get the glue so I'm going to do that next week. So the art show is posters basically. Um, what I'm going to do is use some tracing paper and I'm going to be tracing Hello Kitty. As I said, I love Hello Kitties. And I'm going to be using some paints, um, hole punches, scissors, stapler, probably sticky tape, whatever I need. Um, but first is a lead pencil and some tracing paper. So there is a little kitty in a bathtub, which you can, which I'll show you in a minute. Which I'll show you now. So there's a little kitty in the bathtub and I'm going to trace that now. So what you do is you grab a piece of tracing paper which you can buy from any art store for, at the moment they've got them down for like two bucks. I don't know if they're still two bucks but you can like get them for like five bucks, whatever. Um, you can actually use cooking paper, that can be tracing paper as well. I normally use cooking paper as well um, but this book has some tracing paper so I thought I'll use it. Um, so you can use cooking paper to trace or just buy some tracing paper from the art stores. So... What you firstly think is doing is grab a sharp pencil, HP is the best, or just a normal lead pencil would be fine. And I'm just tracing the circles because they are bath bubbles of the bath. Um, she's actually got a few bath bubbles here, so I might not trace them all, but yeah. So I'm just tracing the cat's face at the moment with a lead pencil. Don't want to wreck it. And then I'm tracing the flower. If you can hear my throat, my voice is I've still got the flu. I haven't got rid of it yet. It's taking me time to get rid of. So now I'm tracing its little hands. And then I'm tracing its other little hand. Okay, and then it's nose, eyes, the other eye, and then the circle in the middle. Oh, whoops. So that's traced. And I'll show you what you can do after when you finish tracing it, which I might have to grab my textures. Whoopsie. Now just drawing the faucet. <coughs> now I'm drawing the bath. It's actually a big long bath. And drawing the bottom of the bath. And now I'm going to draw the legs of the bath. Okay. I'm going to do the letters with a black texture. So I'm just going to grab my textures. So I'm going to use my black texture <clears throat> to trace it. And it's always good to use a thin tip. And now I'm going to trace the legs of the bath. And I'm just tracing everything basically. And make sure you don't smudge, because sometimes you can smudge the texture, especially when you're tracing everything. Now I'm just tracing the faucet. <coughs> the throat's a bit croaky. 
Now I'm going to draw the bubbles in the bath. Just tracing her face now. And her eyes, and her nose, and her other eye. And now her whiskers. Bubbles again. Now I'm going to trace the flower on her head. And then I'm going to trace Hello Kitty. So you're going to write it in black textile. So this is what it is. So I've just traced all that and now I'm just going to do a few more bubbles and it's ready to be painted, which I'll show you what I'm going to do. So now I grab the black texture and I finish all the things that need to be into the picture. So I have to draw the bubble circles, which is in the bathtub. There it is done. Okay, now that is done, so I don't need that anymore. I actually might use. No, nah, Now I'm going to grab a piece of paper <clears throat> and I'm going to sticky tape this piece of paper on top of the paper, which I'll show you why in a minute. Now, these pieces of paper are very thin, so. Um, if you want it thicker, I'm just going to grab the paper. Um, I think I've got paper. Okay, so, we're going to use some of this paper. I normally use for card making. So, design paper. And because it's like for a girl, I thought this paper would be perfect. So, we're going to use that paper. So what we're going to do is, is put this piece of paper on top of this piece of paper. Makes sense. Um, and I'm going to staple it onto the piece of paper. So I'm going to grab a staple. This is how I'm going to make the poster. So I'm going to staple this onto a piece of paper. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So you just hold it. Put as many staples you want so it doesn't go off because it actually is supposed to stay on the paper like that it's not finished yet okay then you turn it around and you put sticky tape on the parts where you've stapled so you don't cut yourself so that's what I do I'm actually going to make this for my niece for her bedroom. So, so that's done. Now you grab the scissors and you cut this part off. 
very straight so you don't wreck the picture. Mitch, mm, sorry guys. Hi Dad, I'm filming. Yeah, we are. I'm just filming. Sorry. Do you want to talk to Mitch? Because, yeah. Okay. Okay. See you, Dad. Bye. Bye. Bye, Dad. Bye. Sorry guys, that was my dad. Um, I'm going over to my mum's tonight for dinner. I just wanted to know if I was coming soon, but I am. So yeah, so this is the Hello Kitty poster. So I've just cut the bottom off to fix it to make it look good. Now I am going to fix the, bot the top by taking this part off. that's done. Then I grab the hole puncher and I put the hole puncher in the middle like that and that's how I'm going to do my, that's why I need that and I'll show you why in a minute. So that's done. So I don't need that anymore. textures I'm using paints for this picture so I'm going to paint it now for you guys and I'll show you what I'm going to use I'm going to be using a roller and some different kinds of paints but first I'm going to do the design so I'm going to be using this design first for the pattern no it won't work why won't it work oh Oh, because I've done the... Actually, I might use it here. It will work definitely up here. So, I'll just do these two sides. So, the two sides are done. Now, I'm going to use this one. a little bit of teddy bears down the bottom but that will do because I don't want to really wreck it let's put some bears here and bears there so there we go so that is done that part is done don't need that anymore I'm just going to pop these away Might need this, I don't know. Okay, so now we are doing the painting. I was going to do this one, um, paint this and show you how to make a house for a guinea pig, but I won't do that tonight. I will do that next week on my next art show. Sorry that. Sorry about that, guys. Just running late a bit. So, okay, so to paint the bath, I'm going to be using some red paint. And I'm going to use a paintbrush. So I'm going to paint the bath red. And I'm just going to colour the Hello Kitty the words up to.
So, so far, I have painted the bath pink. Now, I'm going to do the middle with a brown. So, just a little bit of paint. It doesn't matter if you use the same brush. So, I'm just going to use the same brush. It's okay. So, I'm just going to paint this brown at the top. Done. Now, after that, I'm going to do the cat's eyes in purple. It's actually got a bit of a purple. I don't need those anymore. Actually, you might paint the face purple. It's got actually a bit of a ready brown to it. It's really cool, actually. So I was painting the face purple. I might have to show you the finished product tomorrow night on my um, other show, which I don't mind, because this will need to dry. Sorry about that, guys. That's if I'm not finished at it before I finish the show. Should be finished, but I like my artwork to look really good for you guys to see the finished. But because it's not trying at all at the moment, I might not be able to show you the end of this show tonight. Okay, so the face is painted purple which I need it to dry to do the eyes. Um, I still got to do the flower and I still got to paint the border. So what I'm going to do with the border is use this and it's going to be kind of a fun border because I'm just going to put the brush in there and I'm just going to put some, no that doesn't look right does it? So I might just use some yellow. See if this works. I haven't used this before. Okay, so we're just painting the border yellow. It's like a bit of a brighty colour, isn't it? Well, you don't know yet. Sorry, guys. Not that I'm painting my desk at the same time, which I should use probably something for that. Grab some more paint and I'm going to turn the piece of paper around and do the other side. I'm just trying to not wreck the bath because I don't want to wreck the bath. So that side is done. Now I'm just going to do this side if I can sort it out. I might not be able to because, um, but we'll see if, if, I, if I can. Yeah. So the legs are going to be a different colour as well. It's going to go as with the pattern I've done there. show you what I've done so far. 
So it's not finished, which I haven't done that side yet, which I'm going to do that side tomorrow. And I'm definitely going to do half this show and half the other show tomorrow just to get this finished for you guys, if you guys don't mind that. Um, so thank you very much for, um, for all the support. Um, thank you very much for all the sweet comments. Um, I'm just really sorry that I couldn't finish my art show tonight. As I said, the paint needs to dry and I need to finish the other side. Um, I will put that with my other show tomorrow night so you guys can see the finished product and see what else you can do to finish the poster. And, um, yeah, so don't forget to have a good night. Don't forget to have a good day. I love you lots. Don't forget to smile. Thank you very much for all the support. Thank you. Bye.